Hello guys, welcome back again. This is Suresh from Mr. Automation channel. Today in this session, we're going to discuss about how we can uh, create a grid interaction between our PyCharm project versus our Git remote. So let's see in detail. So let's get started. So this is my PyCharm and uh, in this PyCharm, we have discussed about a uh, unit test uh, test framework. So you can watch that if you wanted to learn uh, Python with uh, unit test framework. And this is in the PyCharm. And uh, here we have this version control at the bottom. You can see here you have this version control. So once you click this or you can see the option here as well in the top header section, you have VCS. So you can click on that as well. And here I can see a couple of options here. So for the first time, when you are into this screen, you will see the create Git repository, use local history and the version control integration. So I will click on the create Git repository and this is my project and I'll click OK. Now you can see uh, it is asking about uh, the details. So you have this head, the current branch and this is the local. And you will also notice there is one more change happen in the IDE. If you see here earlier we have only project. Now you can see it is a commit directory came in here. Now you can see this is a commit directory and what are the commits that we have and what are the files we have that supposed to be pushed to get. You can see here if I expand this so it will show all the options which are there in my project. Right. I can click all. I can click or I can select any one of them like this or I can select everything and like in the git uh, bash the how you would provide the before adding any files you will say it is a command or a commit message so similar to that you can provide here I am saying it as a first commit right and uh, you can do one thing you can commit and also you can do a commit and push and so I am using this commit and push for now so if I say commit and push so it's asking me about the get user details so it is a username and it's a email address so for that I need to again go back to my git remote so this is my git remote to get the username you go to this uh, icon in the right side top and click on that and you will see this is a username right and now go back to your pycharm and this is the username pointing correctly now email address I will take it as my email address right and I will set is set and commit so these things you can do in the git bash as well you can set up the configuration username and passwords and everything now uh, here you can see for commit and push non-protected branch and the preview commit before push so I think it's supposed to provide my preview but even this button is also not enabled let me see what is there here define remote okay I need to provide a URL here so to get the URL what you need to do is you go to again git remote here you create a project let's say this project is a PyCharm project so I'm just keeping this name as a PyCharm project for now I'm keeping this as in private so for just demo purpose I'm creating it right you can provide some description just a demo project and click create right if you are using a git bash then you have to follow these options but we are using the IDE right so generally for IDE you just need to copy this HTTP request uh, HTTP URL which is this is a URL so I will copy this so I think it copied okay maybe I will do it manually as well now I copied go back to the PyCharm now here I will provide this URL and click OK right now it will ask you for integration between your PyCharm versus your Git remote then you have to use this login via github now we can see we have to authorize in the git so I will need to click this button and it will show you that JetBrains IDE and you have to click authorize in git we need to provide user details here so for that I will provide uh, my email address and the password click sign in 
now it will ask you for authentication let me expand this window right if you already logged in it will directly get a get you to this screen if you're not logged in it will ask you for login and you have to click on authorize JetBrains so now everything is done uh, now go back to your uh, PyCharm now you can see it is showing the the commit directory and everything what are the messages uh, what are the files that are we supposed to push to the gate right so all those are here now you can see there is a push button and if you click on the drop down I think it's force push is disabled but you will see more options after the first commit so let me click on push now seven files are committed in the first commit message with first commit message now we will see there is no changes files here in the commit directory now I will go to git remote back now and uh, this is my project right so I just need to do a refresh here now you can see the project has created here right so this is the way that you can uh, create and uh, manage your git remote via PyCharm now I can create couple of more things here like uh, this is my project right so now I wanted to go via uh, creating my branches in the get remote for that uh, I can go to this uh, commit directory again and I can use uh, creating uh, some branches as well you can go to the top here here you will see the get real it was showing the version control right because we haven't configured anything that is the reason it is showing as a get now we have configured right so if you click on that create and then you click on here you will see the branches and you will see the new branch so I will say this new branch name I will mention as branch 1 so this is a branch one I wanted to create so in the branch one what I will do is I will go and uh, add one more file a python file or something anything you can add but uh, for now I will do a python file creation there so just say test demo right and click on now every time after you integrated with your git right then you will see every time you add any file this kind of pop-up will come and it will say that uh, do you wanted to add the following file in the git if it is yes you have to click add because generally in the git bash command how you will do git add the file name similar to that this will react in the same way so just click on add then it will add to your directory commit directory now this file is added right now if I go to this commit commit uh, window again I will see a file here and uh, VCS uh, XML file so this will come and uh, these are the two changes I wanted to again push to the remote now I will say this is a second commit right now I will again do the same thing commit and push now you will see the same kind of window but the second time it will directly show because we already integrated with our version control system now uh, if I click here now you will see force push and push options are enabled now now I click on push now it will supposed to go and set in our remote now you can see it is now synced to our remote go to this file and you will see there's a branch created here right now the branch created but uh, we have created a branch on top of master for that reason it is asking us to create a pull request for that so I will click on this option and I will say second commit pull request right I will say uh, some test in the description and I will create pull request right so now it has created a pull request there is one pull request here and what if, if I create something here it is already there in the master like I will create a one more branch so let's say a branch to branch to so I wanted to create this branch to here right this branch is created here and uh, now we are in a branch to I will say add readme so in the readme I will say test demo and click on commit changes so like this is a, this is as part of my branch 2 so th in that uh, branch it will have all the changes so I will say this commit message as readme.md right now there is one more pull request created on top of branch 1 so this pull request is this one which is a create readme.md so I will say test branch 2 
so create pull request now you have one pull request you created and you have one pull one more pull request which is in there in the get remote so how you can get that branch to your local so you copy this branch to you come back to the version uh, pycharm and uh, this is my project so in this there is no readme right readme file so now i will go to this git option in the top now you can see there are a couple of options provided here commit commit push pull now you can do one thing you can pull so which one you wanted to pull so my branch is this branch 2 so branch 2 i want to pull from the remote so i will click on i will give that name and i will click pull so it's supposed to pull i think it is not identifying that name because in git the local is not synced to the git so what i can do is uh, i will do a fetch so if it is not synced maybe i will do a fetch now fetch is successful now again i will right click to my project and go to the git so this is the same uh, which which is on the top in the top header you will find the git right so similar to that this option will also do the same thing now i will do a git pull now i will see how many branches are there there are now whatever branches we have in the git remote so all the branches are now in my uh, pycharm so i can click on that branch too and i will say pull now you will see at the left side there is no readme right now you can click on pull now it's supposed to get that readme file so here is that readme file right now how you can merge this so you can merge uh, in the uh, get remote i mean get remote in the browser which we have opened right so you can do that way and you can also do in from here so i will show that part in the later on sessions for now i will go and uh, merge this branch into the master now i will say confirm merging now it is merged and i will go back to master so in the master you have that readme file how you can get that uh, how you can now switch to master so now again go to your project right click and go to the git options and the git options you do a fetch so one round of fetch so fetching successful again right click and go to the git and now go to the pull now i wanted to pull a master so i will go to the master and click master now as we merge that uh, file right into the master and you will see that readme file here so this is how you can play with the uh, pycharm with git so there are more options within the uh, git versus this pycharm so i will show all the those options in the upcoming sessions i hope this session is helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel thank you for watching if you have any questions queries you can do post in my comment box